Gentlemen, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1,522nd installment of Short-Term Trading Live with Oscar. Good evening, traders. This video, the 1,522nd of the series of videos, coming to you on September 18th, Sunday night, for trading September 19th, Sunday through Monday. 2016. Traders, as we know, before we start to discuss the things on the board, as we must know, if we don't know, futures trading is extremely risky, causes substantial financial loss, is not suitable for all traders. You can really get hurt in this game. You must know that a stop is your best friend. Put stops in first before you even bother putting on the position. Stop first, then put the position on, okay? Keep that in mind. It'll keep you alive in this game, or at least it's supposed to. All right, so what is on the board? Starting off, and let me reiterate, starting off the session, Sunday through Monday, selling rallies in E-mini S&P and crude oil. That's how we're starting off the session in E-mini S&P. There are no guarantees these days with this major volatility that we stay in one direction all day. But we will start off by selling the rallies, and you will see why, and some of it is on the board right here. Why would we start off selling the rallies with a rally we had on Friday? Well, there is this, traders, because flags and bear flags they are. Will they turn out to be bear flags and act like bear flags? Well, that's one day at a time. You know how the analysis works. We take it one day at a time and morph with the markets. But for now, this moment in time... Flags, bear flags have joined in the gunfight at the Otapma Corral. Now where you've got the indices holding Otapma, now you've got bear flags there. Which will prevail, the bear flag, which everyone in the world sees, or the Otapma, which just Omniacs know about? Interesting, right? You can't just call this one, you've got to let it develop. But because there are flags, we'll start off selling because that's what we must do as analysts when we see flags. So we'll start the day off by selling. We could easily end up long before the day's over, but that's another thing, starting off selling. Okay, so bear flags have joined in the gunfight at the Otapa Corral, and crude oil is still below the fund manager's blue light special, and you need to keep watching, and I'll show you why. This is live with Oscar.com. That's my website. I have a free chat room. It's a trading chat room. I am running the room, so I'm at the helm. I'm there all day, I'm there all night, I give you my Omni recommendations. Come on down to the trading room, livewithoscar.com, and do this. See that arrow? Here's what you need to recognize as day traders. How on earth could we possibly be held to keeping a market in a certain direction, right? A really good trader says, I've got a plan. My plan, because of my analysis, is to sell this market tomorrow. But a good trader knows also when they're wrong, they don't do it twice. You know what I mean? Once bitten, twice shy. You only need to put your hand in the fire once. Ah, daddy, that hurt. Yes, don't do it again. I won't. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to sell twice on a good on a day where the market goes up. So we may end up long or we may stay short all day. There's only one way to find that out, and that's to join me at livewithoscar.com. But there is one catch. <laughs> Sorry about this. I am known to always be at this site. I am always running my room. I am just there. Whether I'm typing or on camera or not, ask anybody. I am there watching. But tomorrow I've got a procedure to go do. It's a small little thing, but I've got to go to a doctor. I've waited 12 weeks for the appointment. I cannot cancel it. So I'll be intermittent tomorrow. I will leave Omni recommendations out there. So if you're coming down to join me in the room tomorrow, might not be the best day to join me. You might, you might want to come Tuesday night, Wednesday day, you know, like that. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I meant to say you might want to come Monday night, Tuesday day, like that. All right, traders, with no further ado, let me stop babbling here and get you to the charts. Come on, let's go. Look at some charts. Okay, traders. The Otapma, or for those traders who are new to these videos, the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average, right? So we've got it across the bottom, and there was a one-day rundown, and it stayed there, and then you had two days there, and it was gunfight at the Otapma Corral. But since then, look at what has developed. I mean, that is absolutely some kind of a flag right there. So some kind of a flag developed at Otapma. That is a bearish-looking flag, and holding Otapma would be bullish. So you've got this going on right now. There is a gunfight right here at this level. 
Now, I will say this. There are lots and lots of Omniacs out there, but there are more traders that don't know anything about Omni than there are who do. And the ones who know nothing about Omni certainly do know about bear flags, and that is what's prevalent right now to the analysts of the world. And we've got to keep that in mind. Will the bear flag work? It's not supposed to because it's supposed to hold the Omni. Will the Omni work? Well, it's supposed to, but so is the bear flag. See what I'm saying? <laughs> We've got this for now, but we will start out because it's a bear flag by selling into the top end of the bear flag. Then we've got the Dow Jones Industrial Average again. Gunfight at the Otapa Corral, but you can easily see that this now is a flag as well. So what's going on here? All right, so we've got flags at the Otapma. Are we going to actually go down further? You know, the flag says we will. Otapma has not told us we're going to hold yet. How you know if Otapma held is when you do hold and start rallying out, you call it a hold and trade from the long side. You don't anticipate, so we have to wait and see. Dow Jones Transportation Average now. Big, big pennant flag, big bullish pennant flag. But inside the pennant flag, you came all the way down, broke out of the pennant flag, and what you've got here is a bear flag. That's a bear flag. I mean, bear flag, not a pennant flag even, bear flag. So at Otapma, another bear flag. This is gunfight at the Otapma Corral with bear flags added in. Let's see where this goes. And then you've got the DAX. What is that? That's some freaked out F flag right there that already had a bit of a breakdown. Right? You see it? Pole are these three days, and then here's your flag that built. A little sloppy, but there it is. And here's the day that dropped under it. You know, right now, this snapshot I'm showing you right here would all be bearish. We've got to sell the rallies. I We're in a big bull market, and I think no matter what the Fed does, even if we drop a little, we end up rallying after the Fed does what it's going to do. But right now there are bear flags, and bear flags speak louder than anything else. November crude oil traders. I've been showing you this since the beginning of October crude oil, and now we're trading November crude oil, so we've rolled to November, and the 200 bar tends to be a big deal around the crude oil. Fund managers, blue light special. Uh, oh, pretty face we got going here, huh? So right there, you broke under it, had a big drop, got back to it, had a nice rally above it. Then we came here and held and had a nice fat rally, but now we're under, under, and now we're starting to end up doing this. For now, you've got to like the downside of crude unless you get back above the 200 and hold there for a couple of days. So, fund manager, and there's one right there, blue light special, we are beneath it, I'm sure they're watching. Traders, if you're not watching, come to livewithoscar.com and I'll show you what you should be keeping an eye on. So, traders, you've seen the chart, you've got my technical argument for why I am telling you that the flags have joined the gunfight at the Otapma Corral, and that's what we've got going on right now. The Fed will come out, Aunt Janet will speak, I don't remember the Fed speaking to knock the market down any time in the last 11, 8 to 11 years, do you? <laughs> so, I don't think she's going to come out and go, hey, everyone sell. So, you know, we've had a pullback, the Fed's about to come out, we're holding Otapma, and then... The brakes get put on. Why? Bear flags come out of the woodwork. You've got to respect them. Very nimble trading tomorrow. Very nimble. Start off selling the rallies. We'll see where that ends up. We will be quick to take the profits if they come. Traders, I'll see you at LiveWithOscar.com. Remember, keep your emotions out of trading. In my opinion, one of the best things you can do to keep those emotions at bay, and I know that is not easy, but try this. Say this, say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stop so. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.